Peace and greetings to our viewers at home. We are gathered here once again. We are praying that the Lord be merciful to us and pour his Holy Spirit amongst us so that we don't only read, but we read with understanding, we discuss with understanding and conclude with understanding. Uh, welcome again to the Great Controversy Series. We are on Chapter 10 today. The chapter is Progress of Report on Germany. With me here today is Brother Nube, Sister Mioli, Brother Matonzela and Brother Francois. At this point in time, we'll bow our heads in prayer as Brother Francois prays for us. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, which in heaven, Lord, as we're about to open your word, please open our hearts, as well as the hearts of many others who are actually watching this program. Bless us, dear God, Father, and give us understanding. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Now, chapter 10 opens with the disappearance of Martin Luther. Okay. Now, his disappearance causes a lot of consternation throughout the land of Germany. Yeah. Everyone is inquiring, where is Martin, where is Martin Luther? Mm. Yeah. Where has he gone to? Yeah. And, and now this makes the leaders of the then times to be very afraid yeah. to an extent that they said the only way we can be able to arrest the situation mm. is for us to look for torches, yeah. go out through the look land, for look for Martin Luther <laughs> and restore him to the people. Yeah. That's the power of the gospel. Amen. God is Amen. in charge even of the enemies. Yes. Now your enemies go out with torches in their hands yeah. to look for you, to yeah. find out where you are so you can be restored back to the people. Mm. The influence of Luther has, has taken a ground into the mind of the people. Yeah. You know, we, we are told that not only the leaders uh, who are actually afraid of, of the situation when the people are now looking for Martin Luther, where is he? Mm -hmm. But also people who never, who never actually publicly come to a space of accepting True. Luther's message yeah. also came and joined the, jo I mean, joined the throng. I just want to read you for, share with you this paragraph. It says, uh, this is paragraph uh, page 185, paragraph 1. It says, and there was great lamentation not only by his avoid friends, okay. but by thousands who had not openly taken their stand with the Reformation, mm -hmm. many bound themselves by a solemn oath to avenge his death. Yeah. Mm. So, you see, God always works from the ground and then he knows how to get his work done. Yeah. So, while, while Martin Luther seemed to disappear, but yet still there, all of a sudden God works upon people so that these individuals who probably have taken Martin Luther may not do anything against Martin Luther so that these ones, but they go about to say, no, 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 we need him. Because sure. the truth of Martin Luther is found a place in the heart. So when the gospel is being preached as it should, yes. let me tell you, God will stand Amen. and try and defend Amen. it. Amen. You can notice the, that word used, progress. Oh, yes. So progress denotes that something is developing. Mm, true. And then, uh, as you say, Sister Nube, even in the absence of Luther, there was even more progress. <laughs> there was more preaching in his absence. Oh, yeah. Mm. Because even the leaders now could notice, yo, if mm. we don't, there's, a, a, a trub, there's trouble coming. Mm. Then it says in page 187, the preachings of Luther had aroused the people everywhere. Not a portion, not a corner was everywhere. left. Everywhere. Yeah. The influence that he put by doing what he did, mm. everyone would say, wow. So anything about Luther would take the headlines. Mm. And so that's the life of a Christian. Mm. That's the life of a leader. Mm. That's the life that God desires in whoever is doing his work. Oh, yes. You finish that second says, <clears throat> everywhere it was felt, the necessity of reform. Mm. So reformation must begin in me, True. must begin in you. Mm. Then it influences and impacts. It is the family. It is the environment where you are. There must be impact. The book gives us a picture, you know, how God is good. It's because Amen. he starts somewhere. Yes. He has his own plan. Remember, yeah. this is the ultimate of God, his yes. plan for yes. salvation. So when you read the book, we find history, yeah. world history connected with the Bible history. Amen. And it doesn't fail. It's accurate. Mm -hmm. It gives us, remember... We are in a movement. Yes. It gives us the movement. They have said this is a reformation. And reformation, it is a movement. Yeah. God is moving with his people yeah. as we speak. God is touching us. He's talking to us. Mm. So you'll, you'll remember all these people that uh, the book is talking about. Those people were in connection with God. Yeah. And they were moving with God. Yeah, there were news that uh, he was safe okay. wherever he was. Yeah. Apparently he was a prisoner. He was okay. imprisoned. Yeah. 
So the people were calm. Uh, the affairs were calm. Mm. I'm reading from 186. Okay. While it's, it's still further aroused mm. their enthusiasm in his favor, his writings were read with greater eagerness yeah. than even before. Increasing numbers joined the cause of the heroic men mm. who had, mm. at such fearful odds, defended the word of God. Amen. The Reformation was constantly gaining in strength. strength. Amen. The seed which Luther had sown yes. sprang up everywhere. everywhere. Mm. Yes. So it means that even if you can be imprisoned, yeah. as long the word of God is in writing, mm. it cannot be stopped. Yeah. Mm. It, it, there comes a time where Bible will be a, a stopped, yeah. attempted to be stopped, mm. but it mm. won't be stopped. Yeah. Yes. Mm. People are told Martin Luther is in prison. Yeah. The situation is calm. But the moment the situation gets calm, yeah. everybody goes back to the readings of, yeah. of Martin yes. Luther. Yeah. Like Brother Francois was saying, yeah. uh, more progress was made yes. in his absence yes. than when he was there. Impressive. But look at this. Now, Satan realizing he can no longer stop what is happening, yes. he brings again his weapon of mass destruction, yeah. deception. deception. Mm. Now, men were seen arising, men who were not known before. Yeah. Some of them claiming to have spoken to Gabriel. Mm. Yeah. That some of the things that Martin Luther had said were not true. Yeah. And that they were the real reformers okay. coming to, to deal with the work. Mm. When Martin Luther hears of this, yeah. his heart is so burdened mm. that he refers to the situation as a yeah. plague. Mm. Whenever there's a true reformatory movement going forward, yes. mm. we just have to bear in mind there'll be a false one. Okay. The counterfeit mm. will always, always be there to try and mm. you know, counter, counter work, the work. Mm -hmm. But in the process of time, as you look at the, you know, I, I, like, I, like, I actually love how Martin Luther handled the whole issue. He could have gone and gone and confronted his yeah. individuals. And, of course. You know, but he said, the Bible, we are told that he preached the word. Uh, yes. And the word was able to settle the issue. People were able to see the distinction between truth and error. And error. So whenever there's counterfeit, we have to stand and preach the proper word. Yeah. Now, when it's come back, where my sister actually commented concerning his literature was mm. all over the place. He has planted a seed in the hearts of men. Mm. Yeah. You see, th this has been, I, I mean, we, we recently were doing, Z Z I mean, Zwingli. Mm. Zwingli also, <laughs> literature. They will have the Bible, but they are also going to have the book, books, mm. tracts, mm. which they'll pass it on. Now, Martin Luther also used to write the tracts, and they will go all over the place, planting seed in the heart of men. Now, when you come to the book of Ecclesiastes, the Bible gives us an admonition that we need to cast the bread upon many waters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me just read for, for, you, um, for you these verses. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 1 until to 5, it says, Cast your bread upon waters, yeah. for you will find it after many days. Yes. So he was now kept where he was not able to reach the people, mm -hmm. but the bread was still there alive. Mm -hmm. And then verse 2, it says, Give a serving to seven and also to eight, for you do not know what evil will be on the earth. Yeah. Mm. Martin Luther never, for in as much as he has been in controversy and stuff, but evil was going on, but because he has planted a seed, it was safe. So people can go back and go and study. And verse 3, it says, If the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if the, if the tree falls to, uh, to the south or the north, in the place where the tree falls, there it shall lie. Yeah. Mm. So if you have cast your word, mm. you have done the, I mean, of all the churches around the world, there's only one church that has, has proper literature that we can give it to everyone. The book which you are presenting, mm. the great controversy was written specifically to be given to the world. Mm. Now, if we are to do our work before we are being restricted, it will, it will help us in the long run to win as many souls as possible. Luther was <laughs> away. But the gospel, through the, uh, what is written, was still doing its work. Mm. So it is a big lesson that I yeah. learned to say, you know what? Okay. Every opportunity that is given, yes. we need to utilize because we don't know what will come up on the land. Soon restrictions are going to come to say you cannot preach to anyone like Russia. Keep mm. your religion to yourself. Mm. Mm. But if you have gained the people of the book, the silent preacher, in their house, no one will come and say, I don't read it. Yeah, of course. You see, they can read the book and find the truth that you wanted to share with them audibly. And they can still uh, actually get the light and make decision for Christ. Mm. Deception will always come mm. as long as we are in this battle of reform. Oh, yes. There, there are no two ways about it. Mm -hmm. So you, you would notice then, after this gentleman came, mm. this thing cascades 
confusion also in churches and schools. Mm. A reality that you see in our country too. <laughs> Bible is your thing. Don't influence. Yep. So you see, those things are being removed. Mm. And in our own houses, mm. it is not going to be taken away, but introduce something else that will take your time. Mm. Mm. And Mr. TV sits there. He can destroy you before you know it. <laughs> Months are gone. The Bible is there gathering dust. Oh, yes. Same deception. Mm. Things that are there are not on. But I like the character of uh, Luther there. Mm. It's in page 186. Yeah. He writes something which reformers, who we are and who you must be, must take care of. He says, oh, yes. the work is not mine. Mm. Mm. Yes. This work is not ours. Yes. Yeah. It belongs to God. Mm. True. So there's no need really to fight and carry arms and try to defend it. Of it course. will defend itself. He says, mm. the work is not mine, but thine own. Thy will not suffer it to be corrupted oh, yes. by superstition or fanaticism. Mm. Mm. These gentlemen come with fanaticism, superstition, <laughs> mm. yeah. telling things out of this. But listen to what he says when he comes. God, this work is not mine. Yeah. It is yours. yours. So God take place. Yeah. So that reform works in him mm. and he understands that we are at war. But the commander is Christ. I must charge, follow behind. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are taught this war, as we have said, we are in a spiritual warfare. Mm. Yes. We need to be very, very vigilant how he works. Yes. Because, as I will read for you here, it says, the fruit of the new teaching soon became apparent. Yeah. The people were led to neglect the Bible. Oh, yeah. To neglect the Bible. Yeah. They were led to do that. This is what we experience even today. Mm -hmm. People would just say, no, Bible is written ah. by certain people. Mm. Where we were, they will... You know, they, they don't understand the yeah. Bible, mm. so they don't like people to talk about the Bible. And oh, it yeah. says, or to cast it wholly aside, mm -hmm. the schools were thrown into confusion. Yes. Yeah. Mm. This is what was happening. This is happening today. Now, oh, yes. Mm. Because the Bible does not make sense to them. Mm. They learn uh, philosophy. They mm. learn all the studies, the, 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 the carnal uh, education. Yeah. Mm. Not something that is spiritual. Mm. And people are, are robbed of yeah. that. And oh, the devil true. wins. Yeah. Mm. Mm. The Bible says we do not wrestle against flesh, flesh and blood, blood. Yes, but against powers, principalities, principalities mm. rulers of the darkness of mm. this world, mm. and against psychological powers yeah. in higher places. Mm. Uh, here we get also that uh, the students also abandoned yeah. their studies and withdrew mm. from the university. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the men who had taught themselves competed to revive and control the work of the Reformation succeeded, succeeded yeah. only in bringing it to verge yeah. of ruin, yeah. which means the ulterior motive of the, of, of the devil here really was just to be distracted. Yeah. Mm was just to 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 to, to pull down mm -hmm. what has been built already mm. so the romanist now regained their confidence yep. and exclaimed yeah. exultingly one last struggle mm -hmm. and all will be ours yeah. mm. just imagine mm -hmm. if that is the way to go and it's not favorable for the people yeah. because god has not uh, meant for people yeah. to go the astray yeah. yes well the issue of schools yes. is always very dear to my heart yeah now i want us to make reference to our current schools okay the bible has been thrown out the window yeah oh, in yes. most schools actually yeah, most. Yeah. that should account for moral degeneration, exactly. mm -hmm. that should account for teen pregnancies, mm -hmm. that should account for drugs Violence. in our schools. Mm -hmm. Yes, Violence, Violence in mm -hmm. our schools. Mm -hmm. You know, I was shocked mm -hmm. recently to hear that at a certain university, one learner stepped another, yeah. mm -hmm. and it did not like step him once or twice, yeah. so many times, times that he did it without a conscience. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then this should speak to the danger exactly. of throwing God out the window. Yes. Because God says, when I am thrown out, yeah. I withdraw my protection oh, yes. and allow the evil powers to rule you. Mm. When they rule you, such things yes. shall come out of the rulings of, right. the, of the choice. evil spirits. Yeah. Because yeah. the devil seeks to steal and destroy. destroy. So which is what he's doing to the future yeah. generations. Yes. When the flag of heaven is drawn down, down. such things are seen. <laughs> Please join us. We'll be going for a short break now. Join us shortly. Mm.
Welcome once again. When we went for a break, we were discussing about the deceptions yeah. Yeah. that have caused Bibles mm. to be thrown out of our society, mm. Mm -hmm. which has caused us these perilous the times effect. that we are, mm. we, are, we are always talking about. Mm. Oh, yeah. You see, we, we, we are living in such a time whereby, as we have said a long time ago, that Luther's must exist at toward the end of the world. The same challenges that Luther was facing in yeah. as the false prophets, you know, false uh, fanaticism that was going on, individuals mushrooming everywhere, saying that we also have the light. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see it in our time. You know, the, there are books that are being promoted in the place of the Bible, yeah. like the book of Apocrypha, mm -hmm. the lost book of the Bible. And people are now finding much interest in these books. Mm. And I will tell you, there are thousands and thousands of millions of people around the world who are now turning their backs from following the Bible mm -hmm. and wanting to go and find out if there's light there in particular. Their individuals are so vocal mm. who can stand up and, and continue to promote the, of the, the, these things, not knowing that by promoting these books, we're not inspired of yeah. God. They're actually opening a floodgate for deception and also for, for destruction. Now, when, it, when it's come down to business, we are told that the only way that we can be able to detect Okay. Sin mm -hmm. to detect false, you know, excitement deception. and, and, mm -hmm. and deception mm -hmm. is through the Bible. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's no any other book. Mm -hmm. So if you want the devil to deceive people, what do you expect him to do? Mm -hmm. He will begin by taking the first, the yeah. biggest detector yeah. of his deception mm -hmm. away from the people. Then when he's taken away from the people, <clears throat> then people will be left with no defense, no offense to protect them. But the Bible never left us alone. It yeah. told us that the false prophets are going to arise. Matthew chapter 24, verse 24, the Bible says, there, for there shall arise false Christ mm -hmm. and false prophets, and shall shall uh, shall show great signs and wonders in as, in, as, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Yeah. These individuals were deceived in the times of Luther. They, 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 they once been on the side of Luther, some mm -hmm. of them, mm -hmm. but because they never kept pace with the yeah. truth, yeah. it was easier for them to solve, to take them, you know, to be taken by that flood of, of, of uh, fanaticism and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we are given an admonition if we are to survive in these last days. Yes. When the devil is going to break, I mean, the, when hell is going to break loose, yeah. so to speak, we'll have to find our foundation to be the Bible. Because there we are told in the same paragraph, it says they rejected the great principle which was which was the very foundation of the Reformation. Mm. So the Reformation, as they were going, preaching the gospel, they were laying the foundation. Now, if you are building on the solid foundation, Matthew chapter 7, yeah. it says there are two builders. Yeah. One build upon the sand, yeah. another build up on what? The rock. When the testing time came, Come. what happened to the yeah. one that built upon the sand? The Bible says his house collapsed. Yeah. Of course. So you can not stand the test of the devil or the, <clears throat> the temptation of the devil when you try to put the Bible out of out of your life. Mm. That's the deception itself. So we need to look at ourselves in Africa because much is happening in Africa where people say, no, the Bible was actually put in place to colonize us. Mm. Mm. It is a deception of the devil. Of course. Mm. And for those again to buy those lies, they are actually preparing themselves to be overthrown in the future mm. just as these individuals were overthrown. Mm. Just uh, Psalms 119, mm. what you are elaborating. Verse 130. The entrance of thy words oh, yes. give light. Mm. <laughs> so this world is in darkness was struggling. Mm. Minister of police is running around. Yes. <laughs> darkness. Yes. Yes. Until the word of God comes in oh, yes. to bring light. light. Then mm. he says, it gives understanding mm. into the simple. Oh, yes. In other words, there's a lot of misunderstanding <laughs> in the way people behave. They don't understand. Oh, yeah. Yes, you're bound to do the way you do because mm. that's your understanding. Mm. And so the entrance of the word of mm. God, mm. that progress of reform yeah. requires that we reform and get into God's way. Yeah. Mm. Because this humanity was created by God. Mm. And for that reason, he takes precedence on it. Mm. Then he says, uh, if you look at this, uh, page 190 is something nice. Mm. God does more by his word alone. Mm. Mm. Right? Yeah. Without you and me, without God, with his word, alone. just with his word alone, alone. does more. Mm. And this has been proven worldwide. Mm. And so when Luther stood in Germany, the progress of reform touched every corner. And mm. everybody was saying, wow. Can I go? If the name of Luther rang somewhere, yeah. the people would be alert. Yeah. Because mm. it's someone who said, um, you see, most people will say, I'll die for the truth, I'll die. But you never die until you live. <laughs> live for the truth. Truth, yes. yes. Then if you yes. can die for it. This, this guy said, yeah. 
You cannot keep dying every day. Yeah. Live mm. first. Mm. And then you True. die for that truth. And so that is what quite essential in us. Whatever corner we are, mm. push it. Mm. That God is a uh, uh, uplifted. Yes, yes Elder, that's true. To elaborate on that, Paul was so concerned about the doctrine. Mm. Okay. And he had to tell this young man, Timothy. Yes. In, in First Timothy chapter 1, in verse 3, he says, As I aged you when I was on my way to Macedonia, mm-hmm. stay on where you are at Ephesus in order that you may warn and admonish and charge certain individuals. Yes. Yeah. Not to teach any doctrine, okay. any different doctrine. Yes. Mm-hmm. So Paul was very, very concerned about the doctrine because, as we know, the fundamental beliefs mm-hmm. will make us to understand more of the Bible, mm-hmm. yeah. will give us nothing else but the Bible. Oh, this yeah. is what Luther had said, that we, we want to know the Bible, yes. nothing Bible. else but the Bible. But the Bible. And in verse, in verse 4, he says, no, to give importance to or occupy themselves with legends. People, they watch TV and, and watch fables and myths. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And yeah. that's where the devil wants. Yeah. Because the doctrine, the Christian doctrine has been attacked yeah. by those things. Mm. So mm. Paul was, was, was warning this young man mm. to watch the doctrine, how mm. important it was. <clears throat> Oh, thank you so much. Now, I want to go back to something that Brother Mube said. Okay. When we allow the weight of the Lord to be light, mm. you know what? This is not part of our lesson, but I'm thinking yeah. right now, <laughs> if we truly allowed the weight of God to be light in our lives, yeah. I mean, our countries would reach a, reach a, a time where we wouldn't need policemen, we'd need exactly. deacons. Exactly. Yeah, we'd <laughs> leave our doors unlocked. Unlocked. Mm. Yes. So our children would be so principled that yes. we would not be worried about mm. them smoking mm. or anything. Mm. That's just how much light the weight of the mm. Lord brings. Yes. And now that we have rejected the light yes. and we have allowed the devil to come in and rule our lives, mm. he has ruined our lives. Yeah. That's, That's why Ellen White in one of her books writes that even nature groans yeah. for release. Mm. Everything now wants Jesus to return so yeah. that everything can go back to its, its normal, normal way of doing normal things, normal. you know? Mm. Now, I want us to look at, did you want to say something, President? Yeah, I, I wanted just to say that, uh, you know, as you are reading the, the, the great controversy, you come to discover that the method that the devil used to be yes. able to recruit uh-huh. members uh-huh. is different from the method that God used to recruit members from yes. his kingdom. Okay. Okay. While the devil used, um, he coerced people, yes. God used, you know, persuasion, mm-hmm. he persuaded us. Mm-hmm. So the purpose all along and the, all these individuals were led not by God, by the devil, they actually forced the will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they, they always have a method of forcing the will. Mm-hmm. But here Luther says, I just want to quote, he okay. says this, I preach, the, I preach, discuss and write, but I will not constrain none. Yeah, of course. For faith is a voluntary act. Mm-hmm. Of course. See what I have done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Christians are not to force anyone. No. False religions are based upon the idea of forcing yes. the wheel. Yes. Mm. And we can see, we can see it's happening. The kings of the earth, they always find, find their way, you know, try enforcing people. And mm. we are told that as we are approaching toward the end of the world, mm. of course, the devil is going to force everyone. Revelation chapter 13, verse 15 to 17, it says, and he was granted power, by the way, from verse 11 mm. is a symbol of United States. Yeah. So as the devil uses uh, force as a method to try and get people on his side, God used persu- persuasion. But the devil here at the end of the world is going to force us again. It says that he was granted power to yeah. give breath mm. to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. Yeah. Mm. So there's, 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 he comes and tries to kill people because they don't want to go with the agenda of his. And he says, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave to receive a mark mm-hmm. on their right hand or on their fore- foreheads, and that no one may buy or uh, may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast. Mm. So you can see, God is not interested in wanting to force the will. If there's anything that a God does, He comes and knocks. Yeah. Mm. And He says, if you open the door, I'm going to come in. Amen. But the devil comes and says, whether you like it or not, mm. yeah, I'm going to come mm. in. And you can see it's happening even mm. when we began, the, we began the, the coronavirus, we never knew that we were going to, go, to get to a space where they're going to say it's going to be mandatory. Mm. Mm. No, it was not there. But eventually we can see You're they're getting, getting momentum. Mm. Try not mm. to speak louder and yeah. try to force people yeah. in the wrong direction yeah. against their will. Mm. Yeah, that's the darkness. Yeah. 
and versus light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on page 193, okay. Satan is constantly seeking to deceive men yes. and lead them to call sin righteous. Yeah. Mm. And righteousness, yes, sin. sin. Mm. Mm. That is light versus darkness. darkness. How successful yes. has been this work? Mm. How often censor and reproach are cast upon God's faithful servant because mm. they will stand fearlessly yeah. mm. in defense of the truth. Oh, yes. Men who are but agents of Satan are praised and flattered mm. mm. and even looked upon as matters will those who should be respected and sustained for their fidelity to God mm. are left to stand alone mm. under suspicion yeah. and distrust. Please look at Proverbs 4.23 in this regard, Mamiol. Mm. Uh, God, the work the word of the Lord with all diligence. diligence. Ah. Yes. I like the English word <laughs> yeah. diligence. Yeah. 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 Diligence supposes that you're not careless. Mm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, I have seen the, uh, the, 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 the key for the, uh, the, this part where they keep money, the safe. Yes. The safe. Uh, that thing is long, ne? <laughs> this long. Mm. Because there's treasure inside. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, you guard that treasure inside there. With build diligence. a wall of steel. Yeah. So the word of the Lord is saying, guard the word of the Lord with mm. all diligence. For mm -hmm. out of it mm -hmm. are issues of life. life. Mm. <laughs> now, page 193, uh, there's a nice story from this book, Great Controversy. Mm. True Christianity receives the word of God as the greatest treasure. Mm. So that which is treasure cannot just be wasted anyway. So it means families, institutions mm. must take regard oh, yes. of this treasure. And if it is so, there will be progress of reformation. Mm. There will be change of the hearts of men. Mm. There's nothing that is known to change people as the word of God. Oh, mm. yes. Force will never. In fact, if you uh, bring force, mm. you receive force. Oh, mm. yes. That's why uh, Rome here struggled. Because they wanted to try force, try and kill. Mm. Try. Yeah. And the more they killed, the more they went up. Yeah. So in Israel, the same thing. Pharaoh was trying to make coerce the Israelites. Mm. Give them more work, maybe. But reproduction was even higher. So you oppose it by trying to force. It mm. will not work. But by appealing, as he said, to the conscience. Mm. That treasure yeah. works on the person, mm. beautifies the woman, beautifies the man. Mm. Those who are fighting, they come together mm. because of the word of God. Oh, Nothing will change yes. except the word of God will change. Mm. Mm. Let's go back to the treasure, Brother Matthews, and I'll give you time. Maybe you should go first. Okay. It's all about, as we have said, about deception. Yes. How dangerous it is. And I just remember David. He once said in Psalms 119, mm -hmm. he said, I have better understanding and deeper insight than, yeah. than all my teachers. Okay. Now, as he said this, you'll understand that the Bible, mm -hmm. people were taught you don't read the Bible, I'll read the Bible for, for you. you. Do you remember that? <laughs> people were told that. Yeah. I'll, I'll read for I'll you. Read don't for read you. on your own. Yeah. <laughs> but when people read the Bible on their own, yeah. you'll come with a better understanding yes. that you can even charge or, mm. or put your teachers in question. Yeah. Why are you saying this? this? Because as we discuss this, we, we, we find spiritualism. Yeah. We spend, you find people, they don't understand the state of the day. Yes. What's going on there? Mm. People, they go to the graves. People, yeah. they, they believe in those spirits. Yeah. So that's where the deception is. Mm. And that's where we need to learn and more understand the word of God. So that will be like David and said, yeah. I, I, I understand better. Amen. Mm. Okay, let's see, let's see what the treasure does. Yeah. Brother Nube touched the issue of families. Yeah. Now, now the Lord says in his Bible, if, if you don't hearken to my word, yeah. wives will rule their husbands yeah. and children will oppress their yeah. parents. Yeah. And we're seeing it happening in our day-to-day -day exactly. life. We have reached a time where you'd almost think we voted our children <laughs> into being. You know, we, we, we can't tell them anything. They no, have so much rights. Power. They are oppressing us. <laughs> and you look at the women empowerment. Yes. Now it looks like the poor husbands <laughs> were voted into having these wives. Gender-based now. You know? 
Mm. Yeah. So mm. this is the danger yeah. of not uh, uh, keeping the treasure. Amen. Let's have those long keys oh, yes. so that yes. the treasure is not <laughs> easily not, reached. It's, it's locked there. in there. It's okay. stored, and it's passed mm. from generation to, to generation. generation. The kind of relay that yeah. we always talk about. Yeah. Thank mm. you very much, our viewers. We shall be going for a short break. Please join us shortly. Okay, thank you. Amen. Welcome once again. Now, uh, Martin Luther, he is about the weapon of mass destruction. Yes. He yes. hears how much reformation has mm. been dragged backwards. Yeah. Now this man of God sets out on a perilous journey. He is banned to go out to certain cities. Yes. Now look at how bold this man is. Yeah. Mm. He's setting out, yeah. going to one of the cities where he was banned. He writes a letter to the emperor yeah. and he says, be it known to you, your highness, mm -hmm. that I am going to Wittenberg under a protection far much higher than yours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask for your protection no. because if it were according to me, I would protect you instead. Mm -hmm. yeah. The reason why Martin Luther says that it's because he understands that mm. The mighty God is with him. Yes. Oh, yes. Now, the position where he is in, he can protect emperors, yeah. not the other way around. Mm -hmm. That's why he says, if it were according to me, I, I would protect you instead. Oh, yeah. mm. And Martin Luther sets out yes. to go and correct the wrongs that have mm. been done. You would notice, uh, Sister Ngobe, this principle here. Why is this man so confident mm. Mm. for what he's doing? You would suppose somewhere he would shudder and say, ha, but why, why suffer? <laughs> but do, do you see the strength he has? Mm. That strength comes in the capacity of understanding. Mm. Who am I? Who is with me? You remember we grew in the rural areas. Uh, you sit, there's, a, there's a, a room here and another room there. That room has got a milli meal to cook. Mm. Mother says, <laughs> go and take milli meal. It's dark. <laughs> Yeah. Mama, I'm afraid. Don't worry. I'm looking at you. Mm. Guess what? You go with strength. You understand. Yes. Mother is looking, mm. but those eyes won't do anything. Of course. course you can be snatched there. But the understanding that uh, I'm under God kept Martin Luther strong. Of course. So this is an important principle to mm. all of us. Mm -hmm. Understand that if you stand for the truth, it doesn't matter where it will lead you. You know it will lead you. But God says, I'll be with you all the way, way. until the end of time. So the progress of reform demands that we carry this principle. We are on a journey. Mm -hmm. It will end mm -hmm. only with the coming of the master. Mm. And he has promised we would leave no stones and ten yeah. in this journey. <laughs> it's very beautiful. You know, when you study this chapter, it's so powerful in such a way that God, God, God's intentions were, was actually to empty the entire falsehood. You know, people were yes. caught up in false religion. Mm -hmm. You know, just, just, just one para paragraph there quickly. Now, I'm going to connect that one to Isaiah chapter 2. Okay. What God is going to do in the, in the near future. So everyone that is caught up in the false religion, mm -hmm. they will find the truth is going to meet them where they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they are going to break loose the majority of them. Yes. So it says there, as the, Ro as the Romish clergy saw the, con the congregations diminishing, they invoked uh, they invoked the aid of the magistrate yeah. and by every means in their power endeavored to bring back their hearers. Amen. But the people had found no new teachings yeah. that which supplied the wants of their souls <laughs> and they turned away from those who had, who had so long fed them with the worthless uh, husks. Yeah of superstitions, mm. right, and human traditions. So that's that's what the power of the world does. Yeah. I was a Roman Catholic, by the way. I was born okay. in there. My parents right. are still in there. Yes. I can testify that when the word of God comes, yes. nothing will hold you back. It will take mm. you from there. My, my, my relationship with my parents was not good enough to hold me back in the yeah. Roman Catholic Church. Yeah. Mm. And, and we are told that they, they, they were now losing membership. Yeah. And they have to appeal to the magistrate. Yes. Can you see how it is? <laughs> yeah. And, and the end of the world, <laughs> the end of the world, they are going to do the same it's thing. Of course. Let me show you that one, just share with you from Isaiah chapter 2, where the Bible speaks about this. 
Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2, it says, And it shall come to pass in the last days yeah. that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains mm. and shall, shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. Amen. Mm. So when God is going, but the mountain is a, the symbol of the church of God. Yes. So it's going to be set up on top of the mountains. Mm -hmm. And then it says that, and many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the, to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of, the, of God of Jacob, yeah. and he shall teach us his ways. That's the first thing. Yeah. And we will walk in his paths. Yeah. Mm -hmm. for, uh, for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the uh, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Yeah. So the word of God, whenever it goes, if you are if the person is actually you know being kept in error, yeah. when it comes there, it's just break the shackles exactly. of error. Mm. And the people are going to find the way. And I love how God put it. When Martin Luther was, was preaching, you know, against the Romish and the Rome and mm. the papacy, mm. he was not leaving people in Rome. You know, that's the mistake that the messengers of God are doing in the last days. You cannot preach against error and leave people in error. Yeah. No. It has not been designed. Mm. When you preach the truth, you call the people to come and join the truth. Yeah. So they were leaving the Roman Catholic Church, joining the Martin Luther movement, the yeah. Reformatory movement. Mm. And here we are told when the truth is going to be preached, we must be clear enough. If we are to be the ones, of course, I believe that the three angels message, that's the weapon that are going to use of mass destruction yeah. to be able to depopulate the Roman Catholic Church and mm. all these other Sunday churches mm. to be able to see the truth for what it is. And they are going to join God's movement to be able to join with them and finish the work. Mm. True, my brother. A true Christianity receive the word of God yes. as the great treasure house mm -hmm. of inspired truth and the test of all inspiration. Yes. Uh, Luther completed his trans translation of the New Testament mm -hmm. of the gospel uh, yeah. soon after given uh, to the people of German in their own language. Yeah. So it means that at the end, a religious tradition mm -hmm. and they are also human tradition. Mm -hmm. So if you are there at home, which tradition do you belong to? Mm -hmm. The priests were so alarmed at the thought that the common people would now be able to discuss with them <laughs> precepts yeah. of, the, of God, right. yeah. of God's word. Yeah. And that they, in their own ignorance, mm -hmm. would thus be exposed. Mm -hmm. So the weapons of the carnal reasoning were powerless mm -hmm. against the sword of the spirit. Yeah. And Rome summoned mm. all her authority yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. to prevent <laughs> yeah. the circulation mm. of scriptures, oh, yeah. but decrees, anathemas, mm. and torturers mm. were alike in vain. Mm. The more she condemned yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. and prohibited yes. the Bible, the, the greater yeah. was the anxiety of the people to know mm. what it really mm. taught. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Before, before we go uh, into what Sister Mioli was yeah. saying, I want us to draw attention a, a bit backwards. Okay. Yes. Now, finally... Martin Luther reaches the city of Wittenberg. Yes. Mm. And message goes out. He has yeah. arrived. He has arrived. arrived. Mm. And the church is packed to yeah. capacity. Yes. Yes. Martin Luther takes advantage Amen. of that time. Yes. Mm. He preaches the word. Yeah. I want us to, lo to look at this in contradiction with, with our current church leaders that okay. we have in the world in general. Okay. Yeah. You, you see, their followers fill stadiums. Yes. Yes. And what falls there? <laughs> it has nothing to do with Christ. Now Martin Luther capitalizes mm. yeah. to the crowds and yeah. he gives them that which they are supposed to, to be given. And in one of his statements, he says, no one must constrain you. Yes. Liberty. Is the very essence yeah. of faith. Mm. Oh, yes. Now, Martin Luther is coming to, to, to fight what a gentleman called Menza, yeah, if Menza I'm, yeah. yes. had, had already started. Yeah. This man was preaching a, a gospel that was like music to the hearers, yeah. basically, yeah. basically teaching people to stay in their sins. Mm. This man had the form of godliness, yes. denying the, the power, power thereof, which is what is happening in our pulpits yeah. today. Yeah. 
We have preachers who come and, and sing what the hearers mm. yeah, want need. to hear. Yeah. Mm. Music to our mm. ears. Yes. Mm. Nothing to do with the coming of Christ. Mm. Nothing mm. with the, Nothing. like the voice of John Nothing. crying out in the wilderness. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let us quickly go back to what Sister Mioli was yeah. saying. Yeah. The New Testament yes. has been translated. Yes. People are now enjoying the word. Yes. Now the priests are being exposed. Yeah. <laughs> they know nothing <laughs> of the word that they've been talking about yeah. all along. Yeah. If the current Christians yes. were to do what the was same. done back then mm. and read, mm. wouldn't it expose the exactly. leaders exactly. And, and, and give more power to the work mm. to continue? Mm. You know, Sister Nube, uh, Sister Mioli too, it's a pathetic situation mm. that mm. we have. You would see the thirst and desire of our people in the word of God. But deception comes in. Mm. Mm. Uh, you really are surprised to see big men and big women, women eating grass. Because mm. someone has said, uh, this is the Holy Spirit and saying. And being spread by <laughs> yeah. doom. Yeah. Mm. So, so you see the aspect there. Mm -hmm. Is this same deception? The mm. desire is there. Yeah. We keep yeah. you hanging around. Mm. But we give you nothing. Mm. Because we have said so, mm. you believe. Sure. But there's only one thing that will liberate ourselves. And then that is the word of God. That's the word of it God. It brings me, uh, Brother Frankos, to this man, mm. um, Likion. Oh, yes. The story of Likion. Oh, yes. This man uh, had uh, this great number of demons. Mm. But the day these demons went off, guess what he did? <laughs> Came to the feet of Jesus. Oh, yes. So there is nothing really that cannot be broken mm. by the word of God. Mm. We only need... This surrender, mm. this word is so powerful. It mm. has changed nations. It mm. has changed life. It has changed families. Families who were really in struggle mm. of really fights, but the word of God came in there. This progress of reformation is required daily mm. in our lives. Mm. It doesn't matter what forces are around, yeah. but these forces can be broken down yeah. as we stand with the master. Mm. Yeah, that, that's very true. I, 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 love, I love how this paragraph, but I want to read this one so you yes. can catch it. It says, in vain, now the Bible has gone out, people are now having their Bible in mm -hmm. their hands. It says, in vain, both ecclesiastical and civil authorities were invoked to crush the heresy. Yeah. Now, the heresy we are talking about is actually people who are reading the Bible. Yeah. So anyone that had a Bible back then, it was looked as an heretic. Mm. It says, in vain, they, res uh, they, uh, they resorted to Im uh, imprisonment, torture, fire, and sword. Thousands of believers sealed their faith yeah. with, uh, with their blood, and yet the work went on. Persecution served only to extend the truth. Yes. And the fanaticism which certain in, in, uh, endeavored to unite with, with, well, with it resulted in making more clear, clear the contrast between the work of certain and the work of God. Yeah. When the Bible is in our hands, <laughs> no matter what, they, what yeah. eternity is guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So they try to silence the voice to kill and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and we are talking about the Roman Catholic Church that yes. has ever, always claimed to be a church of God. Mm -hmm. And they are ones that were actually behind to try and destroy this. They are, this, this, these individuals were standing for the word of God and against error. Mm. Thank you so much. Our closing remarks. The setting on this book is progress of reformation. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's progress, we're marking out space being mm. covered mm. to approach the end. Of course. This will not fail. Mm. Mm. It is God who initiated this reformation. Started in Germany, gone ever, and it is still going on. Mm. May we get it in and be able to get salvation. Mm. The work of reformation is the work that has to go from strength to strength. Mm. It never began with Martin Luther, neither mm. will it end with Martin Luther. Yeah. It has to continue until when Christ comes back. If you come across the truth that cuts your heart, I'll, plea, I'll pray that you're going to see the truth in the light of the gospel mm -hmm. so that we can be saved by the grace of God. Mm. Yes. Thousands of believers seal their faith with their blood. Yeah. Mm. Great Controversy is the most important book for these last days. Yes. As we go towards the end of time, reformation remains key. Yes. yes. God shall set up Martin Luther's mm -hmm. in all the four corners of the world. Oh, yes. We shall cry out according to the third angel's message mm. and brighten this world and prepare oh, yes. to collect the children of God. This writer in one of your books says, 
We should take advantage yes. of the time that we have been mm. given. Yes. Finances that we have been given. Mm. Because the angel with the ink on yeah. records accurately oh, yes. everything that terrible we have done. Yes, yes, with terrible exactness, yes. my brother. Yes. Therefore, we should take advantage of this Amen. time. Amen. The angel records yes. how much light we are given, yes. how much we, re we rejected, yeah. how much money we are given, mm. how much was used for the cause of God. Okay. Oh, yes. I am saying to all of us today, if we have received light, yes. accept it. Amen. Yes. Don't keep it. Pass it to the next person. Mm -hmm. Actually, when you have received it, it, it's like fire. Yes. It is impossible for you to keep it keep within it you. And then the Lord said in his word, this gospel of the kingdom mm -hmm. shall, shall be preached. preached. Yeah. In all languages, mm. tribes, generations, mm. and then the end shall come. Mm. If you refuse to do it, mm. even this very stone mm. will cry out. Yeah. I'm therefore saying, my viewers, today the Lord has been merciful to us. Amen. He has given us yet another opportunity to continue in the way that might not seem yeah. easy, mm. but he makes it accessible to us. Mm. And he provides for us pointers, light mm. along the way so that we may make it in the kingdom. Yeah. May the good Lord richly bless you with your families, keep you in his keeping care safely mm. protected until we meet again. Shall we bow our heads in prayer? Brother Nube will pray for us. Our kind and loving Father, we thank you. Thank you for this session of the great controversy. Mm. As you talk to us all, talk to the world, talk to our families, we desire to carry this progress in reform. Amen. Guide us, guide the parents, guide the children, guide our leaders. For this reason, we know you'll be coming again. Mm. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.